Welcome, Paradise Paradoxians, to another exciting, time-bending, mind-twisting, tongue-rolling, brain-flipping, candy-flipping episode of the Paradise Paradox. My name's Kurt Robinson. And my name's Aaron Battle. So, let's... Is, it, is, yep. that, is that your manifestation for tomorrow night? That my brain is going to flip out of my skull while um, I'm on MDMA. Uh, <laughs> No, well, today is it? candy flipping isn't that like where you dr- you drop acid and you take LSD, uh, MDMA at the same time or something? Is that, uh, isn't that what that is? It sounds appealing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, something to try next time, but not not tomorrow. Tomorrow <laughs> we're go- we're going on a different kind of journey. Uh, so uh, this is something. This is kind of something I've been thinking about doing for years, I suppose. Uh, First, first heard about this stuff when I was in high school. You know, somebody read about it in like the the X Files uh, accompaniment book. That, that <laughs> so you could read about everything they mentioned in the X Files. And one of the things they mentioned is Yerche, or the Vine of the Dead, Aduaska, the uh, yeah, the Vine of the Dead, the 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 Vine of Souls. Um, what do, you, what do you know about ayahuasca? Um, well, I, I think I feel like I've always known about it. Or I've, yeah. I've always known it. Like I think uh, is as a kid in school, I like to talk about jeeps and going through the jungle like that. Like I, I grew up with Indiana Jones. Like you know, drinking Indian potions is what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> and I just All right. haven't had a chance to do it yet. Um, <laughs> so when you say when you saw the way that. Uh, the Native American people were portrayed and by Hollywood, you thought, that's something that I resonate with. I was 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm 30 now and nothing much has changed. <laughs> Ready for the adventure. Right. So, so we were looking at this video, which uh, it put my mind at ease a bit because it's talking about the, the scientific uh, base of how ayahuasca works and it's like this uh, clip from a documentary produced by the canadian broadcasting communism commission or whatever they call it Uh, and they and they go through and they say well if you know if you get uh bitten by a dog you'll tend to have the same reaction to dogs but ayahuasca actually suspends these uh these synaptic connections uh, for a long enough time so you can form new connections. So if you had fears or things that were trapping you in your past, then um, it can actually help you rearrange your brain to find a new pathway. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, achieving achieving the result of years and years of, of seeing uh, psychologists and being able to identify, you know, what the, what the critical problem might be or what the trauma that you're carrying mm. uh, and then just remove that trauma. Yep. Reprocess it and then uh, literally create new pathways in the brain. It's like yep. it's, it's like a like a physical metaphysical thing. <laughs> Something. <laughs> physical metaphysical miracle. <laughs> so I'm in. I'm about to pass out in a minute too. Uh, so we're gonna go and uh, like it's not too far from Aaron's house in Sapopan. Um, like way up on the north side, still within the municipality of Sapopan, but uh, kind of out of town. Uh, and we're, we're going to go and meet some shamans, and, and uh, they're, they're going to take us on on a journey to meet Mother Ayahuasca. Oh, that's it. That's the idea. So, uh, so we had to prepare ourselves for a few days beforehand, uh, at, at least three days of fasting. Uh, so we cut down on fried foods and and uh, beef and pork and we, we cut a, a bunch of other things down, sexual relations. Uh, so, you know, some, some things were harder than others. Yeah. That, that's, that's the way it was, man. That's the way it is. <laughs> because when you first sent me the list, like you sent me like the blurb of, you know, these are things we should watch out for yeah. or be aware of, you know, reducing. Yeah. And I was like, oh, easy, you know, I don't really eat meat, no worries, or my diet's low with sugar and salt. Well, you know, who eats too much salt? That, that wasn't what I thought. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> um, and then, then I started reading that I can't eat avocados and, you know, guacamole is like the, Lifeblood. the, the table of the times tables. <laughs> the big one. Like, that's like the, the jam in our 
in our whole diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wake up and smash three avocados for breakfast. They're good for you, which is why I'm surprised <laughs> that this mother ayahuasca doesn't want to like be mixing energies with the with the avocado. Yeah, yeah. So there's supposed to be this. There's supposedly there's a certain chemical in the avocados uh, that's in, in bananas as well, which which will prevent your progress. But um, I don't know. They I, actually they didn't send us send us that in the blurb that the on the, in the guidelines that they send us. So I've been eating bananas and. You said you had a few, so who knows? Maybe we're gonna, maybe it's gonna make our um, spiritual rocket ship kind of bust out and <laughs> fall to and fall back towards the ground like Challenger. Okay, I, I don't want to be on that ship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't sound like a, a good trip to me. Like, it sounds terrifying. <laughs> Didn't that thing burn up on entry? Yeah, I just uh, I, I didn't think it even exited. Okay, okay, well. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to rationalize what, what is the go here. Like I know there's certain chemicals in, uh, in this mango and avocado that might affect it. Is it going to affect like the stomach? Like it's not going to be absorbed the same or is it going to you know, uh, not, uh, let me, not let me enjoy my trip? I don't know. I'm not a biochemist. I think uh, it, all that's going to happen if we eat too much processed food or, or these, these certain foods is that we're just going to throw up more. I think that's what's going to happen. But Yeah. Which uh, I feel like we're... We have no idea what we're talking about and we have no idea what we're about to do. But all right, the other thing was we have to have a clear intention going in. So do you, do you have one or do you um, want me to go first? No, I, I'm going to have the same intention as, yeah. as always. And yeah. that's to, to – I'm going in there to understand the connectivity, you know, that mm. we're, we're all one thing okay. and we're all connected. That sounds pretty good. So that, that's my intention to try and understand that because I, I just – you know, I talk about it. I do the meditation. You know, I'm, I'm about understanding that. You know, that I am this environment. I'm not like in an outer worlds, mm. but I think I need I need any like an experience to push me over the edge <laughs> to really get it because no, it's not real just yet. Like I'm not the chair. You know okay. what I mean? But maybe I, maybe I should be the chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll find out. But yeah, what, what what's your intention? Okay, okay. So, uh, I've, I've had a few problems at my home lately of uh, a bizarre nature. So, so sometimes I get, uh, I see weird shadows at night, uh, wake up with, with weird feelings, have, have odd dreams, and, and there's quite a few weird things which happen in my house. And, and uh, so, it seems like there's some kind of bad energy. I mean, there's, there's a whole thing, a story I guess I'll have to tell another time. I got a specialist in here to check it out and it, she she said, it, well, uh, yeah, she said there were there were a few problems when she looked at it. Uh, so, the the thing the thing is, when uh, a lot of the time when I mention this stuff to people, they say, ah, oh, tienes este don when you have this gift. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, what is it really a gift uh because you know it doesn't really seem like it's a gift when i have to um sprinkle holy water around my house at, at night to, in the hopes that it will pr prevent some something entering uh <laughs> so the question is the intention is uh i, I want to find out how i can actually turn this to my advantage turn it into into something that that helps me or helps other people or you know increases my personal power um and makes make makes life better for for everybody yeah so you want to take advantage build develop your superpower that's just like just ruffling the feathers right now <laughs> i i guess so that's that's the idea yeah i, I believe in all that I, I believe sometimes when there's when you're feeling like disturbances in energy and you don't know what it is, mm. uh, it's it, this, it's something on the on the other side perhaps, yeah, or, or so close to us now that you know it's like on the verge of becoming uh, some kind of interactive real. Mm. Well, I mean, it's it's not letting you sleep well, so. Well, actually, I still sleep alright. It's just when when I wake up, I feel weird. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What else can we do? Yeah. Mm. So, uh, yeah, so the ceremonies, uh, today is uh, the, the 30th, the ceremony is tomorrow on the 31st and, and I mentioned this to, to my buddy Lu Luis Fernando and, and he said, 
no, he's he's actually a, a shaman, and he said to me, oh, you, you know, it's going to be, he, he said not to make it weird or not to make it like, like you know, not to put a, a, a bad idea in your mind or jinx it or anything, uh, but, well, you're probably going to have a lot of fun. He said that during the, during this time, like around the Day of the Dead and Halloween, there's like the veil between the worlds is a is a bit thinner than normal. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that pans out. <laughs> Does that concern you? No, no, because I I mean I know it's going to be super weird no matter what. So yeah, yeah, okay, all yeah. right. I've I, I know I I'm trying not to look at uh, how other people talk about or describe it because it's good to have a clear mind and have no you know direct expectation of the experience to let it be what it is. Uh-huh. Um, but you know of course there's a couple of documentaries on on how people go through the process and I think I prefer to know you know what it's about. It's like it's a pretty serious decision to do this. Mm. I mean the way it's going to change your personality perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the other thing I wanted to mention was, like, I remember about four, four or five months ago, we were sitting in the pulqueria, uh, and we drink, we drank about two or three liters each, and things were starting to to get a little interesting. Like this, this, this drink. I know I mentioned it many times. It used to be used for for human sacrifices because it would work as a uh, as as an anesthetic, but it was also. Uh, I don't know how you'd describe the effect. Maybe slightly dissociative. Mm-hmm. So there's there's something weird <laughs> in in the pulque. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> so they, we we were yeah we'd had a few liters and things were starting to get a bit weird. I actually don't remember a, a, quite a large chunk of that night, which is a bit funny because this is like it's not like pulque is thirty percent alcohol or something. It's or, you know it's so like probably five percent or so mm, um exactly. you can, yeah you don't even taste the alcohol when you drink it uh so, so it's yeah there's something weird going on uh, anyway i remember you um you 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 asked me like um like do you want to do this do you want to take ayahuasca and i said mm. i've got uh yeah i think i probably made the decision right at that moment and i said yeah because uh, this is like the whole other level of reality, or it could be. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll wait till till we see what what level of reality it reaches. Um, but it's, it's uh, this this whole thing, you know, everything behind the curtain, and and uh, I'm still wondering what's behind it. Uh, and you know, life is short, and I don't want to die without knowing what's what's on the other side. Just take a little peek. <laughs> That's kind of the joke, though, because we're going we're going to see death. But the process <laughs> yeah, is maybe. to yeah. kill, like the ego, become the the one with the pool of energy of the all. Yeah. Uh, it's like it's like this. It's going to teleport our our seed of light or consciousness or whatever spark is that we are to that side. And, <laughs> get, and the trick is to try and remember as much as we can on the way back. Yeah. So we need to bring some journals. Don't, yeah. f- don't forget the journals and write as much as we can so we can try I, to document it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think. I, I need big paper to, <laughs> yeah. to draw so the map. So you can draw diagrams. Yeah, right. Yeah. You need to draw the fifth b- bardo or whatever <laughs> so you know how to traverse it. Yeah, it's just that when, when I asked you whether, you know, this is it, like, you know, you're serious, you want to do this? Yeah. I didn't, I wasn't serious. I was, I was, trying, to, I was trying to get out of you, but I was, I was like, you know, I probably would do it. I probably would. I well, you look, you were looking for an out. Um, and I'd be like, no, actually, I'm pretty shit scared of that. Yeah, if you turned around and said, you know, we're going to purge front and back. We're going to uh, change our personality. We're going, it's going to like just destroy us yeah. inside out. Um, I probably wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> but, but then I hear about other people that have been through it and they, they say this is like the, the pivotal moment of my life where I was successful and doing everything well and I was on track but then I really opened up my head and I knew yeah. exactly what I was here to do. Right. So I'm looking for, for purpose. Yeah. I, I, I want to get serious about. Well, this is a thing you need. Yeah. Uh, well, and a word of criticism if I may. Go ahead. So you're saying like 
your it appears like your intentions aren't clear, and I guess I'm probably guilty of this as well. But because on one hand you just said you just told me a few minutes ago mm. that you were looking for union, and now you're saying you're looking for purpose. Yeah. So it's a two. two well, they seem like two different things. Maybe they're not. Yeah. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think that in the physical, they, they appear to be two different things. But if, yeah. if I become everything, then I naturally go into my, my natural flow and, and course. And that would be the direction. So maybe those, those things uh, fit together quite nicely then. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll so you know. so we're, gonna, we're, we're going on a magical journey, a magical mystery tour. Uh, so we'll, t- we'll talk to you. We'll report back. Uh, ho- hopefully, we can make it back. I think we'll make it back in, in uh, one piece or less. <laughs> we already came back. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So my, <laughs> my, my name's Kurt Robinson. My name's Aaron Battle. So, uh, yeah, you know the, the spiel. Head on over to Facebook, YouTube, uh, iTunes, Pocket Pass, pod, Podcast, Twitter, at Trouble Bubble. At Battle AZ www.troubleinabubble.com No, that's my old website. What are we talking about? Go there too. Yeah, check it out. Check out my old stories on there. www.theparadiseparadox.com And uh, get, toss us a coin uh, or shop on Amazon, buy some interesting books and have a good one. Peace. Peace.